Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I thought I'd film a little get ready with me. Um, so first things first, I'm going to use my um, Becca First Light Priming Filter. And I'm just going to take mm, about that much. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. And I really like this primer because it's really um, like hydrating. And it gives you like a really nice like glow from within. Kind of look. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me, um, and this is the Dewy and Smooth. I'm just going to mix these two together. So now I'm going to be taking my uh, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium, and I'm just going to put that under my eyes, and I got a huge pimple right there, so we're definitely going to put some on that too, oh my gosh, okay, and a little right in between my the center of my forehead, and down my nose a little. And then over my eyelids for um we're gonna use this as an eyeshadow base as well and then i'm just gonna take uh, my beauty sponge and then i'm just gonna blend it out so now i'm gonna take my charlotte tilbury um airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder in the shade number 2. And I'm just going to take this... Oh, that's all over me. I'm just going to take this under my eyes. Um, and over my lids as well to set them for eyeshadow. And, and then maybe just some right in between my forehead. I want this look to be quite glowy, so um, I'm not going to put it like... I'm not going to set my entire face, so... This is a really good powder. I really love it. So. Next I'm going to be taking my butter bronzer. And this is the deep bronzer. So I think it's like the darkest one. There goes my brush. And I'm going to dig my finger into it. Awesome. I'm just going to take um, a fluffier kind of brush. And um, sculpt my cheeks with it. Mmm. I love going ham with bronzer. Always. And put some on my five head as well. Yep. Get hair all over me. And then I'm just going to take um, that same brush I used with the powder to set my eyes. And I'm just going to like put a little bit like on my nose. Just so it doesn't get lost in my face really. And then maybe some to just sculpt my uh, jawline a little bit <laughs> to give the illusion that I have one. Okay. I'm going to use the Rocketeer from uh, my Cheek Parade. And it's just like um, this one right here. Oh, gosh. Mm. Really just like dig my brush in there. I love blush. I love it. Shit. Jesus. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Ilia powder. Um, it just looks like this. It's really white. And I'm gonna... Hmm, smells like flowers. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this under my eyes. Um, just to catch any fallout that I might have with my eyeshadow. And maybe take some just up there as well. Okay, so for eyes, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette, which is very nice. And first off, I'm going to take the shade um, Raw Sienna, which is right here. 
and my crease. Oh, I love this color. I think uh, my brush still has like color from like the last time I did my makeup on it, which is fine. Just adds to the look, I reckon. And then same for the other. Now I'm going to go in with um, burnt orange, which is like really similar to that same color. It's just a little more orangier tone. And I think I'm going to go for like an orange, like a more orangier look today. And I'm just taking that like basically in the same spot that I put the other one. Uh, maybe keeping it a little more concentrated like on the outer portion here and then like in the crease. But I'm still, um, whatever's kind of left over, I just take it and put my brush like on its side and just drag it out here. I'm going to get a little more precise of the brush and I'm going to go into the shade Rilger, Rilger right here. And oh, I love this color, it reminds me of like fall time. Okay, so now I'm going to put this um, like on the outer corner here, up here, but I'm really going to take it in quite far as well so and then I'm um, kind of taking the brush and I'm like making a shape almost like as a V did I use the right shade? yeah I did And with this color, I'm going to take it in quite a ways as well. First blending brush, I'm just going to blend all those harsh lines. Now I'm going to take Cypress Umber, which is the darkest shade on the palette, right here. And I'm going to take this on the outer. Um on the outer corners, but I'm gonna be really um, a lot more precise with this. And slowly, I'm gonna carry it in just a little, and then still keeping that same shape that I want right here. Still keeping that shape. Okay. Wow, this is gonna be a lot more dramatic than I thought. And same on this side. Just packing on that color dark as it can be and then I'm gonna drag it in slowly and then just gonna keep that shape right there now I'm gonna go back and with the mixture of the burnt orange and the raw sienna right here and just barely dip in my brush in because these are so pigmented and then I'm just gonna blend out all the outer corners and just make sure it everything is really blended And then just making my adjustments, the darkest color. Oh, put my tongue back in my mouth, that's disgusting. Does this look like shit? Does it, does it, does it, does it? I don't know, okay. So... Um, I'm just going to spray uh, my brush real good. Jesus, I'm getting my leg all wet. I'm going to go into the shade Primavera right here. And it's just like the gold, the only gold shimmer in the palette. There's only two shimmers in the palette. I'm just going to go into this one. And I'm just going to put this kind of almost like cutting the creases is just a lot easier. Um, and then taking it and following the natural... Um, my natural crease in my eye. And then just packing that all over. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And the reason I'm, like, my eyes open when I'm doing that is just because I want to make sure that I'm really precise right where I'm putting, where I'm initially putting, um, the glittery shade. And then I can go ahead and shut my eye. 
I'm just going to dust off this powder. It goes out quite uh, quite a way, so I just want to make sure that there's no harsh lines. That's the worst. So I just thought I saw one right there, so I'm just kind of blending. I'm probably going to do like the same thing I did on the top. Uh, first, I'm just going to mix these two shades right here and really just smoke out my bottom uh, lash line right here. Because I love smoky bottom lash. That's for sure. Mm, the same on this side. Okay. Um, with that pencil brush. And I'm going to take this all the way across. It just goes on like butter right on my face. What the fuck? And then just kind of connecting them right here. Just like that. Perfect. And then taking out your blending bl brush and just blending that out. Darkest color right here. With the darkest one, I'm going to put that just on the outer portion. And then, like I said, connecting it right there. And then I'm just going to blend all this out right here. I'm just going to spray my face. Just because I want to be uh, more, do more glowy than this. And I love that. So, I'm just going to um, highlight my brow bone with um, Vermeer right here. That one. I let my brow bone. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa, that was a mistake. Holy balls. Okay. Awesome. I love myself. I'm just gonna take um, a, a brush and like try to blend that out. What is even on this brush? <laughs> Why is all my brush is clean? Okay, what is on here? I'm just gonna blend that out a lot. Because I didn't want it to be like, like, come on. gonna so my brow bone is highlighted and love it. I'm also just gonna highlight my inner corner as well with that beautiful color and then just kind of patting it with my finger just because, um, I don't want it to look like I just, like, you know, I don't want it to there be any, like, harsh lines. So I'm gonna take it just into right there, connect, just gonna connect the gold and then this inner corner. So now I'm gonna take my, um, Gimme Brow by Benefit in the shade number four. I'm just gonna take this and put it through my eyebrows. So, um, to highlight, I'm going to be using the How Many Carrots highlighter. Um, I've really been liking this a lot. Um, and I'm just going to put that on my face. So now I'm just going to pop on some lashes and mascara really quick. These are the, these are the Lily Lash um, in the style Mykonos. They're so pretty, I love them.
So for lips, I'm going to be using uh, my NYX uh, lip liner in this shade Nutmeg. And I'm just going to um, overline my lips with it as well. Alright, and I'm just going to take my Fenty Beauty Gloss and the, I think, what is this? This is Diamond Milk. I'm just going to put this um, all over. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, well. Is that gross that I just took back in? I feel like my face is missing something, so I'm going to go in with my Josie Moran. Uh, it's like an illuminating powder. I really love it. It's the Argan Enlightenment Illumina Illuminizing Veil. It just looks like this, and I'm just going to take um, just any like big brush, and I'm just going to put this like everywhere, really. Like on my nose, too. And then on my forehead. And then I don't want to like disrupt this, but I do want it to be like on my cheeks and stuff. But I'm not gonna put any, uh, put any right here because I have a breakout right here, and if I put any like um, powder on it, it's just gonna make it like shh, like wherever like the light hits it. So I'm not trying to do that. But yeah, so. Alright you guys, thanks so much for watching this video. It was kind of all over the place and it was kind of uh, like exactly like the look I just did. But I mean every time I sit down and I try to do a look, it ends up like looking the same. Like some sort of like warm brown like um, tones and I always go for like a classy lip. But I don't know, that's just kind of like my go-to look, you know. So um, I hope you guys liked it. Um, here's a more close-up of the eyes. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.